Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Bookish Drama, my name is Ethan and today I am bringing you some spooky book recommendations perfect for this month of October. Let's go straight to the books. My first recommendation is The Archived by Victoria Schwab. This is the first book in a duology. Our main character, uh, Mackenzie, is a librarian of the dead. She has to make sure that the dead stay where they are supposed to. And once they escape from The Archived, she has to drag them down and uh, recover them and bring them to the archive back again. These books are very short, but I quite enjoy them. They're not the best books out there, but they are really enjoyable and I think October is the perfect month to read them as they are very eerie, let's say. Another book that reminds me of October is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I think I read this book on October last year and I absolutely loved it. In this book, our main character Quoth or Kvoth um, goes to a university and in October we are all back to school, so it is a very relatable uh, situation. I am sure you have heard something about these books. Some people love it, some people hate it. I absolutely love it and I also love our main character who is also very controversial. This is probably the book with the best writing style that I have ever ever read. I cannot wait for the third book to come out and you guys have to read it if you have not already. I know it is quite long in this edition. We have 650 pages which doesn't seem that long but it kind of is. If you're going to pick up one book from this video go and read this one. My next recommendation is Night Film by Marisha Pazel. This is also a very dark book that it is also told in a very weird format or unusual at least. Here we can see some kind of file or web pages and that. If you have read Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff, you should pick out this book. Although there is a lot of text as well. And this book is about a journalist that is trying to solve a murder. Basically, the daughter of a very famous um, movie director has died and he is trying to uncover all the mysteries that surround this death. I read this book a few years ago and I cannot wait to reread it and also to keep reading Marisha's other books. The next book I am recommending you is a paranormal romance and it is Vampire Academy by Richelle Mead. I'm going to film just now a review for this and also the Bloodline series so keep your eyes open for that. As the title suggests, this is a vampire novel. You have to read these books even if you think you don't like vampires because it is going to surprise you a lot. We follow our main character Rose Hathaway and Elisa Dragomir. They are best friends and they have to uncover something that relates to the magic system of this world. They are also attending a boarding school and our main character Rose may or may not fall in love with one of her teachers. And the last book I have today for you is Into the Water by Paula Hutkins, the author of The Girl of the Train. I think I love this second book more than The Girl on the Train. It was definitely darker and more twisted. We also follow a lot of different perspectives. I know that a lot of people got confused with that, but I am used to reading a lot of books with different perspectives, so I wasn't bothered by that. And in this book, we try to solve some deaths that take place in what is called the Drowning Pool, which is like a pool in a river. We mainly follow the daughter and the sister of one of the girls that has died in this place. This is quite a popular book, so you maybe have read it. If not, I really encourage you to pick it up. I really want to get more into mysteries, so if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments down below because I am really interested. Those were all of my recommendations. I hope you liked this short video. If you did, give the video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time guys. Bye!